what faith is. Faith is giving substance to things hoped for. Faith is grasping the unrealities of hope and bringing them into the realm of reality. Faith grows out of the Word of God. It is the warranty deed that the thing for which you have fondly hoped is at last yours. It is the evidence of things not seen. You hope for finances to meet that obligation. Faith gives assurance that you will have the money when you need it. You hope for physical strength to do the work that you know you must do. Faith says, God is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Sense knowledge has given to the church mental assent, which looks so much like faith that many people cannot see the difference. Mental assent is seeing it, admiring it, saying, it is true, but not in my case. Mental assent agrees that the Bible is a revelation, that it came from God, and that every word is true, and yet, when the crisis comes, it does not work. It simply recognizes the truthfulness of that wonderful book, but it does not act upon it. Hope says, I will get it sometime. Faith says, I have it now. Mental assent says, It is beautiful. I know I should have it. For some reason, I don't get it. I cannot understand it. Sense knowledge faith says, When I see it, when I feel it, I will know I have it. Real faith in the Word says, If God says it is true, it is. If He says that by His stripes I am healed, I am. If He says that God shall supply every need of mine, He will do it. If God says, he is the strength of my life. He is. So I go about my work because He is what He says He is, and I am what He says I am. If He says that I am strong, I am. If He says that I am healed, I am. If He says that He cares for me, I know that He does. So quietly I rest on His word, irrespective of evidences that would satisfy the senses. Real faith is built on the word. It is untarnished by sense knowledge. It is as unconscious of itself as is the faith of a little child in its mother. The child never says, Now, mother, I believe your word. I know that if I ask you for a piece of bread, you will give it to me. If it said such things, it would frighten the mother. She would wonder what had happened to her child. We have built around faith a strange wordology that is like a barbed wire entanglement. You hear men and women cry, Lord, I believe. Help thou mine unbelief. You hear them pray for faith. You hear men tell God that they know that what He says is true, that every word He has spoken is true. All that indicates the dominion of sense knowledge over the spirits that the word has not yet gained the supremacy in their lives. Faith is the result of the word dwelling in us. I don't mean the word committed to memory. I mean the word lived, practiced, until it has become a part of ourselves. We meditate in it. We think deeply in it we feed upon it. The Word becomes a very part of ourselves. This Word of faith builds into us confidence and assurance. Sense knowledge will fight every step of the way to hold us in the realm of things seen, felt, and heard. But we persistently drive ourselves into the Word until the Word is a part of our being. The Word is real.